Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog of day. Today is Saturday the 19th and today was a lovely beautiful day outside. Woke up this morning, um, it's just stupid early. Uh, dog did not cooperate with the whole sleep through the night thing very well. Um, definitely was a um, lackluster um, restful evening, let's just put it that way. So definitely not the most fun uh, evening I had, but I got this morning, got a couple things done. Uh, Kept the dog as quiet as I could. Ended up outside in the hot tub trying to get a nice little uh, muscle relaxation going on so it's a little softer. My body moves a little better that way. So got up and around, um, got the dogs. Once their bell started moving around, I was able to make a little bit more noise, um, let the dogs kind of wrestle and play and all that good fun stuff that went on about. Um, got them wore out a little bit. Then I headed over to um, go feed the RV cats, which I did in the morning. And then uh, went back to the house, hung around there, was trying to find a new um, home inspector because the home inspector had lined up the, uh, one of the BDMs and said, yep, I can get you in, it should be a problem. You know, five, seven days, not a big deal at all, blah, blah, whatever. Found out he can't do it, so he can't get me in. So felt bad um, when it has like, hey, what I just need to know, like, if you can get me in or not. Like, I, if you can't, that's fine. I just need to know it so I can, you know, move forward in this whole process. So went ahead. Um, he finally said, no, no, I can't do it. So I reached out. I was trying to find somebody else and stuff. Um, not having great luck. Ended up talking to my real estate agent uh, that I'm using as a buying agent. And she said she had to call people. She'd try to reach out, see if they get us in. Uh, post up on the Facebook and stuff. Really got no answers. And he would post it because this guy is in that same group that he can't do it. So don't recommend him um, in the time frame. Which I understand is a shitty thing. Because, like, literally, you know, a couple days ago I didn't need him at all. And then now I need him within five days. And with President's Day and stuff, it becomes a pain in the butt with, you know, a little bit shorter time frame and whatnot. So definitely uh, kind of a weird, uh, they used to give us like 15 days, but now with the real estate market down here as fast as it's going, uh, just nobody wants to wait 15 days for a home inspection. Because if your house is off the market for 15 days, then to find out that there's something wrong with it or something you don't like or just I decide I don't like to wear the you know closet sets or whatever I have the chance to walk away at that inspection time like oh I don't want it and this person lost 15 days in the market which I mean is a lot now like the average sell day is probably like three to five days down here it's ridiculous how fast things are selling so it just it is becoming what it is so dealing with what it is um ended up he called and actually apologized and stuff said hey man if you need anything at all uh, during your inspection if you want to facetime me you know want to videotape something take a picture of it send it to me ask questions i'll answer it i can over the phone and try and help you if something if the other inspector or something sounds sketchy and stuff call them on it you know like tell them hey this is you know what are we doing why is this that way what's the codes what's the whatever and stuff and he, you know gave me that you know assurance that he'd be there to help if at all possible he couldn't physically be in the building you know looking at the house so that sucks but at least he's you know he's trying to do me a solid so went ahead um, hung around the dogs and stuff had to go feed the uh, condo cats so i went and fed well i guess i don't even come the, the other cats uh, they were new smyrna not beachside but new smyrna at least so i went over there fed them got back from feeding them and then hung around the house my mother and my wife headed up to um, her father's house to uh, start packing up some stuff. I guess I know, they're packing up all the CDs for some reason. I don't know why they're moving CDs from boxes that um, he originally had put all these CDs in, so they moved them over to other boxes because those boxes that he put CDs in were better for records or something. I don't know what, I have no idea. But they up there and did that. They got a couple other things done, um, trying to get the house cleaned up and whatnot and whatever. So it is what it is there. Um, yeah, that got done. I got back, uh, hung out with the dogs uh, for the evening, ended up uh, just. It was one of those things, the dogs, they, they get along great. They rough house, they get to play a little bit rough and I didn't feel comfortable being gone that long and with them there, but by with nobody. So I didn't go with my wife and my mother. So hung out there in the evening, uh, finally went back. Uh, so they got home, I ran um, just on foot over to feed the RV cats. So they're a two a day kind of dog, uh, kind of cats. So went ahead, got them taken care of, got back to the house. We had a nice little dinner. Uh, we ended up having leftovers um, of the uh, pork shoulder that I um, cooked up yesterday so we got that taken care of and um was able to like just had a nice little evening watch the ncis everything was good uh, one of the dogs went back home so it kind of made it nicer the dog that did sleep tonight it went home which was good um the one thing that did suck there is the guy's like oh yeah i'll be here to pick it up at like this time i texted him 15 minutes after that time he's like oh it'll be like two hours later and i'm like that's kind of shitty so i'm like okay whatever and then that time rolls past another 15 minutes past that time. And again, I text him, he's like, oh, I'll be by another hour. And I'm like, are you shitting me? Like, 
this is um, like you're four hours late and I have to contact you each time when you're supposed to already be here. So wasn't really pleased with that whole factor and with the way the dog just never, never settled down, never really got comfortable in the house, never just, it was always on edge, constantly around their belts. I kind of told him like, you know, hey, if you want, uh, yeah, I'd probably look for somebody else to watch your dog in the future, which doesn't really matter because I think it's actually his son's dog or something. And the son's gonna have his house finished building or remodeling or whatever it is, so he's gonna be able to take the dog with him. So that won't be a problem there as well. So I just, I, oh man, two nights of not sleeping sucks. It is, it is not good. So it is what it is. It's better than the whole house not sleeping. So works out um, overall pretty good. Just kind of chilled out, ended up um, discussing the fact that we're going to be able to sell the father-in-law's house. Talked to um, another real estate agent. Uh, met my wife and mother up there and looked at the house and gave us a um, what she thought the house was worth, which that would bring is like seventy thousand dollars more than what my uh, agent I've been working with thinks it'll bring. And the market has changed a little bit since uh, the original agent and I had talked, so there is that a little bit in that process that it might be worth a little bit more. So who knows? Um, I just got to figure it out. I just also don't want to price them too damn high and have it set there and go stale because that's the one thing I do not want. I don't want a house in the market for 65 days where nobody's like, why is it been listed for 65 days and nobody's looking at it? Because we almost bought a house that way that we literally looked at with, this is weird, and it dropped. They lowered the price like $80,000 and we still were like, is it worth looking at? Because like, why has it been on the market this long and so on and so forth? So we got to figure out um, what we're going to price that and go from there. I'm going to talk to my agent again and have her come look at the house, give it another walkthrough real quick and see what she thinks and go from there. So, but pretty much that's it. Um, overall, good day, beautiful weather. The weather was insanely gorgeous and all that good fun stuff. So that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.